This video will show how to use the free online one variable statistics calculator linked below in order to find the following one variable statistics. X bar is equal to the mean or average of the data values. Sum of X is equal to the sum of all the data values. Sum of X squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the data values. SX is equal to the sample standard deviation. Sigma X is equal to the population standard deviation. N is equal to the number of data values. Min X is equal to the minimum value of the data set. Q1 is equal to the first quartile. Med is equal to the median. Q3 is equal to the third quartile. And Max X is equal to the maximum value of the data set. We're often also asked to find the range, which is not given here. We need to remember the range is equal to the maximum value minus the minimum value. So let's go to the free online one variable stats calculator and enter the data. We enter the data in the data list cell separated by commas. Once we've double checked the data is entered correctly, we simply scroll down and click solve. And all the one variable statistics are calculated. Let's take this information back to our work. Let's go ahead and round the decimal values to two decimal places. And therefore x bar or the mean is approximately 81.89. The sample standard deviation is approximately 9.36. The population standard deviation is approximately 9.11. And the range, which we calculate manually, is equal to the max minus the min, and therefore the range is equal to 33. Now before we go though, I do want to talk about quartile one and quartile three. It is important to be aware that there is not one standard method for determining the first and third quartiles. This app uses the method such that when there are an odd number of data values, the median is not included in the upper and lower half of the data when determining Q1 and Q3. This is sometimes referred to as the exclusive method, which means the median, again, is not included in the upper and lower half. And this is the same method used by Desmos, as well as the TI-84 graphing calculator. Here we have a set of data with an odd number of data values. And notice the median is three. And then to determine quartile one, which is the median of the lower half, notice that three is not included in the lower half, and therefore quartile one is the mean of one and two, which is equal to 1.5. Similarly, when determining Q3, we do not include three in the upper half, and therefore the median of the upper half which is quartile three, is the mean of four and five, which gives us 4.5. This is not an issue when we have an even number of data values, as we see here in this second example. So it is important to use the method you have been instructed to use to find the first and third quartiles. It might not match the quartiles given by this tool. I hope you found this helpful.